Okay, so about an hour fucking feeding my hate, leaving fucking dickheaded messages on Vans, YouTube account, Vans, fucking Warp Tour, Facebook account, and just getting pissed about how everything fucking sucks nowadays. I feel that when I was younger, I always knew that the Vans Warp Tour was a big budget show that uh, they were at least helping in some way where they had like a small local stage and it gave the fucking local guys not a way to get big but a way to get exposed because you know that kind of music a lot of it's never going to get big big but help them at least get some exposure for some new fans so they can build you know a fan base and help them make records you know so they can make a little bit more money to publish more records but uh, it doesn't seem like that anymore I mean, on this page I went to, there's not one. It's They're selling it, like, alright, they have this fucking trailer. It's called, uh, No Rock Stars Allowed or some shit like that. I can't even remember. And every one of the bands on the fucking trailer and on the band's Warped Tour lineup are what I would consider bitch-ass fucking rock star bands. I mean, they're cloaking them as underground music, when in reality, they're far fucking from that. They are 100% rock band. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old and I just still fully live the punk rock lifestyle. I mean, you can tell I'm 30 years old and I got a fucking black eye. I just brought up some old stuff for the last time I went in 2002. And they had a fucking Marie recruiting station. They had, had fucking National Coast Guard creating st recruiting station. But I thought it was like one of those things like, alright, well they're just getting into them to fit the bill so they can put on a good show, which they did. They put on Suicidal Tendencies, which was a fucking awesome show, which fucking Psycho Biko was fucking amazing in and fucking got right in the crowd and shit off the big stage and was fucking totally on T and... They had a small stage at the time where they didn't have as many good ba underground bands on. But they had something, you know? And there's not even a list of local stages. And they don't even say, and a local stage. Or, because they used to have a local stage. You kids may not believe me, but they did. Anyway, as I fucking was letting my hate fester for my, either my false belief in a corporation maybe being, having some good spirit in them, I started to feel very gypped and get very, very angry and feel that like, it was just all like, like they fucking, it, that I'm stupid, that I, I let my childish ways at the time get in front of me, thinking, well, these guys, these corporations, okay, it's Vans, it's Vans have been around since 1963. Selling us, or 1960, I think it was 1963, I don't know. Selling us cheap shoes. Well, the last time I looked, vans, and fucking the cheap old school vans, they're off the walls, they're fucking $38. Dude, I can remember being fucking 16, 15, and getting them for 20. I thought that was a little bit expensive, but $20 is okay. Well, I mean, they got the Vans outlet store, you can go there and get them old school prices, but standardly, you can't. And then, um, I mean, same thing with Chuck Taylors. I mean, remember when I was a kid, uh, you know, thinking, well, Chuck Taylors are great because they were fucking cheap. That's why I wore them. I mean, fucking $18 for a pair of sneakers. I kind of stood the other day, they're 40 fucking $2 for a pair of fucking Chuck Taylors. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just starting to feel very gypped. And, uh, I mean, I've always felt gypped about what big business has done, but, you know, when you look at shit like this now, and you see, uh, what, 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 even what the music has come to, but they're not even trying to interject the kids into seeing good music, or seeing really independently made music. Instead, they're just like, they just went with it, fuck it, fuck it, you know, that's what they said, they said, fuck it. Because when I used to go, I used to go have, like, they, they, of course, they would give, like, the honorary old school punk band, the big stage, like the Vandals. Uh, D.I., Bad Religion, fucking, well not D.I., I'm sorry, uh, the, the Vandals, Bad Religion, and Ludachicks, and so on and so forth, they would get them to have a stage, and then they would have the other popular bands play, and that, would, that shit was playing, you could walk off and go to, uh, 
go to like the, the small stage area or the second stage, second big stage. And now they don't even have that anymore. It's like, I think they have two stages. They don't have a local stage. They don't have a small stage. I may be wrong, but I can remember seeing it on the list when it, we used to go and when they would put the fucking flyer up. Yes, before the not before the internet, but before the internet was huge like it is now. Fucking huge. I can remember they put the flyer up in the wall music, Sam Goody music, and they would say, they would have all the big bands, and you'd say, oh, cool, this big band's playing, this bigger band's playing. And then you'd say, yeah, I don't want to see them guys. And then you'd say, wow, I'll fucking go to the local stage, who's playing? And you would see, like, lo local bands to, like, that area, like, fucking New York local, New Jersey local, Philadelphia local, that's where I grew up. So you would see, like, those local bands. And, you know, they would get to play. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, I just think that, uh, they just fed on something by saying, see, look, we're trying to help. But in reality, they weren't. And... I guess I was naive and young to believe that. And uh, I don't think the kids nowadays are ever going to be as annoyed with something like that as I am. Because they don't care. They just want everything perfect. They want everything the best it can be. Like, they're all great skaters. They're all fucking great guitar players. They play the drums no problem. You know, I see it all around with these younger kids. And that's cool that they do that. But the point is, is that there's no fucking soul. There's no fucking emotion. Raw emotion. Not like emo emotion. Like raw, real emotion. Or fucking style, even, in this. Like, I, I, I picked up a skateboard not too long ago and tried to skate. Fucking, yeah. It's funny, but I busted in a couple old school chicks. And, like, yeah, I know it's funny. The kids are going to laugh because of a 300-pound fat man skateboarding. But... When I told them to do this trick, like, just try it, they were like, oh, it's lame. That's just a lame trick. But, dude, this is what it was built on. There's... Invent your own shit. You don't have to kickflip on the fucking coping at a pool all day. Fucking... Dude, like, I quote Dwayne Peters. It's fucking carved, motherfucker. It's in, it's in the dictionary. Carved. I don't know. I just think that... Really what happened with, uh music and all that kind of shit nowadays is getting worse and worse, and I know there's still local scenes out there, but it's just really sad that it's not as big as it used to be, and uh, I just totally think that that uh, that, that at the time that the, fun, the, the, the fading off local scenes at the time that we had little packs of a couple hundred kids in Ocean County, well not even Ocean County, like our town this kind of next door, and then the so on and so forth. I feel that Vans just capitalized on that, and that uh, they tricked all of us into thinking that uh, they were trying to help the local scene by letting the big bands fit the bill. But uh, and I, you know what? I know a lot of the older guys are going to say, "Duh," but you know, I was young, I was naive, and I feel even stupid for saying it. But but fuck Vans and uh, fuck Warp Tour and. I think that uh, the kids should stop fucking paying to go see this for $43 online. I think it's like $63 at the gate. Fucking paying to see this when they can build their own scene, fucking build their own groups of people and get their own music going for cheaper than bands can provide. I mean, they can literally get a scene going, run an Elks Club for $250 fucking dollars or maybe $300. And then fucking charge a couple dollars at the door. And then if they're smart, they can say it's a fucking food drive like we used to. And then you get Elks Club will give you a cheaper price. And then you just get a food drive going for the Elks Club. Come on, kids. Wake up, man. Wake up. Start your own scene. Fucking sing your own songs. Fucking do something other than this, man. Because the town I live in, I see nothing. If I was to pick up my guitar and go out and play a show, no one would show up. Because the kids don't want to hear grimy fucking punk rock. They want it perfect. They want to fucking hear Saves the Day. They want to fucking hear... They want to hear fucking perfect studio-bound music. And that's not what this shit is, man. Fucking... I mean, same kids that like ACDC don't like to hear... Hear old-school punk. I mean, good they like the Ramones, but all every Ramones live album sucks to them. That's the only fucking albums I listen to by the Ramones. And I love the Ramones. Anyway, don't support Vans Warped Tour.